once again I'm stopped on Highway 50 at a uh, construction site. Uh, the uh, traffic from the other direction has just arrived and they're coming through so we'll be going soon. Um, I'm going up for another two-day trip. Um, it is mid-September and um, weather report calls for 80% thunder showers today and tomorrow. That ought to be interesting. Um, I consider myself a very experienced uh, backpacker, but truth be told, it has been years since I've been rained on while backpacking. So I've got all my rain gear, absolute redundancy, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're moving now. I'm in this lovely, cool, breezy spot here. I'm on, um, I'm on uh, the, the Echo Lakes Trail not taking the taxi. The Echo Chalet and taxi service is closed for the season. That's basically why I'm here, because I am going to Lake of the Woods. I love Lake of the Woods. It's a beautiful place, but it's a crowded place. Um, it shouldn't be nearly as crowded with threat of thunderstorm coming in on a weekday after Labor Day. It's uh, the 13th, September 13th. <sighs> Didn't get a lot of sleep last night, lots of complaining to do, but I'll get to Lake of the Woods before uh, 4 o'clock, I think, um, and hopefully I'll make it there before it starts raining, because there's a very good chance of a thunder shower today. Uh, it started at around 7 o'clock last night, I was told. So I've got my tent, which has never been rained on, um, a, a tarp, a small tarp, a big poncho that could double as a shelter if necessary, so essentially three shelters. That's crazy. Plus um, a rain skirt, uh, ultralight rain jacket, and that poncho, and an umbrella. I've got redundancies for my redundancies. <sighs> but I'm cooling off, and there's people approaching. Can't talk to a camera with people coming. So I guess I had better just get moving again, even though it's so nice and cool here. God, I love it here. <laughs> It's been sunny and hot, well, sunny and very warm for most of the trail, but it's a cool day. Temperatures are in the 70s, 75, uh, even when uh, partials, even in partial sunlight. So when the cloud cover comes, which looks like it'll happen in an hour or so, it should cool down to the 60s, I'm thinking. Anyway, off I go. This is where I usually start these trips. I'm lazy, I admit it, but really I just want to get into the backcountry as fast as I can with as many options to go as far as I can into the backcountry. So I take the boat taxi when it's available. It's only available from Memorial Day to Labor Day, so no boat taxi now since it's uh, September 13th. I gotta get something to eat. I'm gonna take a break here and um, fortify myself and then charge on again. Doing all right. Um, I felt really tired uh, when I got up. I, got, I woke up way too early, went to bed too early. Um, but I just decided, uh, let's just go. I'm not going to get any more sleep. Let's just go, try to get there early, see what happens. Um, it's kind of pretty here. Did I just bump the lens? There is signs of rainfall everywhere. And there's these little, little drops of rain here. I guess I'm not focusing in on these very well. Little raindrops. There's puddles here and there. There's some mud here and there. It was a pretty good storm last night, just for a little while. Uh, and we're going to get that again tonight. Maybe this afternoon. Maybe right now. <laughs> There's a gray cloud above me. So I'm going to get something to eat and get ready for this stuff. I'm a little short of Tamarack Lake, 
but I got a nice view of the Echo Lakes. I'm feeling pretty tired. Start moving uphill and I get hot and tired and I want to stop, so I do. Um, luckily, the sun hasn't come out much because when it does, I just get covered in sweat right away. I'm really not feeling too well. So I've got to just slowly get myself over all this uphill and then I've got a nice long downhill cruise to my campsite. Won't take that long. <sighs> but I'm tired. Well, I've seen my first raindrops. It's uh, rain dripping now. I'm in a thin forest, so I'm not feeling much. Uh, it's not time to put gear on yet. <clears throat> There's a big gray cloud overhead. Um, I am just a little short of the Tamarack Lake turnoff. So that means I've done about 3.3 miles. So I've got about, I don't know, two and a half to go, something like that. Doing all right. Just moving slow on the uphill, but uh, everything is just fine. Everything according to plan. Check it out. Well, that's a wide angle view there. This is me and a rainstorm under my umbrella. Hands free. It does actually stay pretty good on my shoulder here. Um, I, I just threw it on real quick to see if how well it would work in a little down a little rain. But this rain might hang out for a while, so I'm gonna, I pulled into this little tree zone here, and I am going to uh, put on my pack cover and get water more waterproof. I do not want a wet pack when I arrive, right? No. So, more some, some more gearing up, and then this will probably just blow away, and I'll set up camp. Back. Oh, well, there's Tamarack Lake down there getting rained upon. The umbrella is working. The uh, storm has gone from light to nearly heavy. There was some hail, little bits of hail, just a moment ago. That seems to have stopped. And damn, it looks like this is going to be around a while. Um, I'm only put on my pack cover and uh, the um, this is weird, huh? And the umbrella. And the only parts of me getting dry is from the calves down and uh, from the elbows out, with some water splashing here or there on occasion. Um, don't know if I'm going to put more on or not. My pants are getting a little wet. Maybe I should put my rain skirt on. Well, i got to try that out anyway. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Doing pretty well here. I'm tired and winded. But I'm not hot and sweaty. In fact, I'm getting a little cool. Um, I wish I had taken out my uh, rain jacket while I was taking stuff out. Um, my left arm is getting a little wet. It's getting a little cold. Shoulder, too. Wouldn't be bad to stay warm up top, uh, but I love that uh, oh, the um, the uh, skirt is working very well. Um, it immediately kind of warms things up on my legs. Without uh, there's a lot of air flowing through there, so there's no moist clamminess or anything. Um, and I'm glad I got the long version because it protects that much more. Uh, that's working pretty well. So far, I gotta say, this umbrella and the, the rain skirt are pr two awesome purchases. Um, a lot of problems with the uh, umbrella. The, the way I've got it rigged here, um, I can barely see where I'm going because it's so low in front of me that I can only see about six feet in front of me, but that's okay. Um, it's covering the top of my backpack, so I'm not getting any water... Um, uh, between the pack and my back. I was kind of worried about that. Um, other thing to worry about is it's, it kind of bounces around. Um, I've only got it kind of loosely held in place. Um, it's just limited. It can only go so far in this direction, so far in this in that direction. Um, and that works pretty well in these conditions here. If it was windy, it would just blow away. It would be blowing all over the place. Um, well, basically, I'd have to put the poles away and concentrate on holding the umbrella in place. Having it free, uh, keeping myself protected from rain and hands-free without having a poncho right on my skin, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I've always hated the idea of hiking uphill in a rainstorm 
because I'd have to put rain gear on and I would be sweating like a pig underneath the, uh, the rain gear. This is working out just fine, at least for a day like this, conditions like this. Well, this is me walking through a thunderstorm. Uh, it might have just reached a crescendo. Had, uh, I just decided to stop. I had just decided to stop and put on my rain jacket just to cover my arms. And I could say that it was just in time, but actually it wasn't. Just right then it started hailing and pouring like crazy. And even in the semi-sheltered spot that I had, uh, I couldn't keep the water off of everything. Um, so I just got my uh, light w uh, windbreaker slash rain jacket on just to cover my arms and to cover my head. I tried to pull out something else to cover my head, but I got frantic pulling stuff out. I think I accidentally just put the, the blue hat right back in the uh, pack, so I'll do without it for now. No more getting into the pack. Uh, I got enough gear to keep me dry enough to get to the lake, and I don't want to get anything else wet. Luckily, not much is wet. Oh, the other piece of rain gear that I brought that I never ever bring, I never ever deal with, is everyone says it's a good idea to uh, put a big bag in the main cavity of your backpack. Put everything into that bag. I've never done that. Just never seemed necessary. It doesn't seem necessary now because my backpack is covered with a pack cover and it's doing a very good job of covering it. However, uh, I do know that all my clothes, my sleeping bag, all my down is going to be absolutely 100% dry no matter what unless I dive into a lake and am submerged. <sighs> All right, I'm almost done with the hard part. Yeah, I can see the little hill that I need to climb over. If you can see, well, the low part to the left of the trail up ahead. I'll be uh, leaving this trail soon and uh, heading over to the left toward the Lake of the Woods. And in just a short while, I'm sure a hat, less than a half a mile, I will reach the apex of the trail and we'll all be downhill from then and everything is gonna be awesome. Maybe, It'll even stop raining when I get there. It's almost stopped now. I can take off my jacket now, at least. It's pretty when it rains. It's another reason why I wanted to be out here when it rains. I just like all the color. All right, it's dangerous for electronics. Put this away. Well, it's not raining much right now. But all the previous rain and they're running down the trail right now. Nice little river we got going here. Huge psychological waypoint here. Ah, oh, that is a junction telling me that Lake of the Woods is forward. Uh, Echo Lakes is behind me, and the Echo Lakes, tra Echo Lakes Trail slash Lake Aloha Trail to the right, the PCT. Uh, to the PCT. To the left goes to. Uh, uh, Mount Ralston. Nobody wants to go there. Uh, but what's really key here is that this is the high point of my day. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm a little soggy, but <laughs> I really can't complain because I'm a lot drier than everybody else is out here. Uh, my umbrella got many, many looks of envy. And a couple of just flat out, I gotta bring an umbrella with me. And nobody was looking at me like I was a big sissy. They were looking at me like I was the smart guy. <laughs> and I tell you, I'm feeling like the smart guy because uh, just putting on the um, the rain jacket over my arms and over over my head at times, it was good to put over my head uh, yeah, when it was hailing. It got it got pretty cold and the winds kicked up. But um, 
uh, my arms just got all clammy and wet on the inside. So if I was wearing a poncho or just a rain jacket with rain pouring down on me, I'd be miserable right now. Right now, I'm just tired, but ecstatic because I know that it's all downhill from here. There ain't gonna be anybody out here. I saw, I saw a PCT hiker. Uh, did I see anybody else going in? I don't think I've seen anybody else going in uh, that, that had a backpack on. A lot of people exiting with backpacks. Um, I want to take one more little break before I get to my campsite, which is oh, half a mile from here probably. Um, getting hungry, so I should probably eat my bar, uh, but maybe not. I'll be setting up camp uh, in a wet campsite or a raining campsite. I don't think this is going to dry off anytime soon. Huh. There's a blackbird playing with another bird over there. Not worth zooming in on. Never mind. But you can see the effects here. There's hail everywhere. And you can see all the water going down this trail here. Even though that there is the top. <laughs> We're 10 feet from the top, but there's already a river flowing here. It's going to be gushing when we get down to the lake, I guarantee you. It's freaking pouring over there. It's probably pouring everywhere, but I'm in a heavy forest right now. I'm on my way uh, around the side of the lake. And just now, there was a bright, like that, uh, thunderbolt followed by a massive explosion, much like that. Only this one was only about a half a second apart. Uh, if that, sorry about that. The, uh, the lightning must have struck something within a hundred yards. It was really close. It was very exciting. Man, I'm loving this. I just really can't wait to uh, get a dry place set up so I can uh, unpack my stuff. All right. right now I'm feeling pretty good. My, my legs are like dry. It's amazing. My uh, belly is dry. Just my t-shirt is exposed. But uh, I, right now I'm only using the um, the umbrella and the rain skirt. And I've just got the... Um, rain jacket draped over my shoulders and uh, over my left arm. The, the, the left side doesn't get as much coverage since the, um, the uh, bar here is on the other side. See? All right, it's really dark and scary. I think I'm on time. I, you know, I don't even know what time it is. Um, I started going really slow when it started raining. I just stopped. I just kept stopping a lot. I'm feeling pretty good now, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I want to eat right now, but I also want to get there right now. And I want to talk about it. Okay, that's not good. Let's stop talking about it and we'll do one of the other two. There's big old Pyramid Peak. There have been some hellacious explosions in the last 10 minutes. There'll probably be another one coming up in a moment. It is pouring down rain. I am so glad I have an umbrella. <laughs> I'm so glad I got my rain skirt. Damn. Umbrella is a winner. The umbrella stays. And the rain skirt. The rain skirt's even better. Uh, forget rain pants. Never do rain pants again. Ever. Hey, just when I thought things were going to calm down here, at that. It's hailing like a motherfucker again. And uh, I was looking really hard to find a place that was dry-ish. When I got here, there was two to ten inches of water everywhere on all the flat ground. Uh, I found this bit of ground here with no puddles on it. And I came over and stomped on it and it apparently is a uh, just a really big pile of pine needles and pine cones and such. So the, uh, the water just keeps going below. So I thank God I brought this damn tarp with me. <laughs> uh, I just found a place. Hang on a moment here. I was just looking for any place, a place where I could set up this tarp so I could be dry 
<laughs> under something so I could put new clothes on and such stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm putting clothes on and this, this incredible downpour just broke out. It's not uh, like it was a little while ago, but Jesus, look at this shit. This is the biggest hailstorm I've ever seen in the mountains. It's just crazy here. And thank God for this little tarp. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, more work, and it's getting harder here. Okay, campers. Here's a question. What do you do when there's no dry ground to set up upon? This is a little dilemma I've got myself here. There isn't exactly zero dry ground. There's uh, that space under that tarp there, which is uh, beginning to get saturated. Uh, you can see the little lakes over here that are higher than my, my little dry zone. And water is beginning to seep up from underneath. So I've, I've, I've been trying to break this dam here and get the uh, water to flow down, but it doesn't want to flow because there's a big root here or something. But at least I got this stuff going. All right, so I'm just really taking a breather. Um, I uh, worked so damn hard setting up these little canals just formed themselves here. Very peculiar. And these little dams form themselves and then they break and then they get stuff wet. I'm learning a lot here. Um, what happens to the terrain when there is a monstrous downpour? Now I know, because <laughs> I lived through it. Um, and I gotta say, it did pretty damn well. I did not get soaked to the bone. Well, here's another foundation here. I did not get soaked, really, at all. My core remained dry. Um, what got wet while I was hiking, pretty much my feet. Um, uh, a little bit of my arms, my hands, but pretty much my chest remained dry. My legs were dry. And this is the first time I've been to this side of Lake of the Woods. My plan when I came here, my plan period was to uh, come to Lake of the Woods because there wouldn't be many people here. Why? Because it's not a weekend. Um, it's past Labor Day. 80% uh, chance of thunderstorms. We'll just go ahead and change that to 100%. Um, and uh, so I decided that uh, under those circumstances, coming to Lake of the Woods would be great because I think this is one of the most beautiful lakes here. Um, it's just that it's really crowded. And now it's covered in steam. And the rain has completely stopped for the first time in hours. This is weird looking. Um, keep in mind, I've, uh, you know, my glasses have been foggy all day, so I got water on my glasses and everything looks weird. But I'm not thinking we're out of this. There's a lot of dark skies over Lake Tahoe. A lot of dark skies in a lot of places. But there's a bit of blue sky there and no rain. Okay, so I'm gonna do things like find out what time it is. I have no idea what time it is. Uh, drink some water, because I'm very thirsty. Eat something, because I'm hungry. Uh, those are the priorities. The next priority is f setting up my tent, and I have no clue how that's gonna happen. But isn't it pretty here? <laughs> and of course, there's nobody here at the lake. There's nobody here at all. Uh, I saw a pretty big exodus of people leaving. And I was hoping that I could get here and set up before the rain started. Okay, but, but now I'm going back to the tree area and one thing that is peculiar is that when it stops raining, you walk under the trees, it's still raining under the trees. <laughs> because they're still wet and they still have stuff to drop. Man, look at this weird stuff. Anyway, the terrain is, is treacherous. 
Um, when I first got here, before there was hail all over the place, it was brown all over the place. Uh, and like I said, the whole area was a puddle between two and ten inches deep. The thing is, you couldn't tell how deep the puddle was because this uh, very light debris, like pine needles or just little brown things, would float to the top of the, w of the water surface. And uh, you can't see how deep the water is there. Okay, what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know, to tell you the truth. And I can't tell if it's raining again or if it's just that I, I'm under the trees. It looks like it's raining again. Uh, let's put the camera away and do some more important things to ensure my comfort this evening. If I don't get all those things done, I will not be comfortable this evening. And that would be a problem. Don't want no problems. Wow! Uh, just when I thought it was safe to go in the water, I, uh, the rain pretty much stopped for a while there. I was wandering around well, I'm glad I did. Uh, uh, I recognize that these hailstorms uh, keep coming. This is like the sixth or seventh one today. Uh, it's just they keep coming. <laughs> it's it's a uh, snow white over here. Um, but after when when it calmed down a little bit, I wandered around and started looking for a tent spot because, like I said, all of the ground is either a puddle or a potential or a, a, a former puddle. Ugh. So so the uh, the only candidates were this spot that I'm sitting in right now, which has several huge puddles um, that are higher elevation. <laughs> that water has to go somewhere and it's just kind of seeping up from here. But when I first walked in here I went by the camp that I had planned to stay at initially. Uh, although it looks different than I imagined. Um, and when I first walked by there, I noticed that under uh, some trees, there was a spot that was not puddling. And it was similar to this. It was pine needles, pine cones and stuff, but it was high ground. And all of the tent spots nearby were totally soaked. This is not bad. So, I got my tent set up. Thank fuck God! <laughs> um, because otherwise, without my tent, I'm stuck under this tarp or my umbrella. I'm trying to maintain warmth and dryness here. Um, I, I've got to, I put a, an underlayer on, and I uh, put an overlayer on, just just a shirt, just a long pants, um, and that's warm enough while I'm working. Um, I usually the first usually the first thing I do when I get to camp is I go to the water and I wash myself and I I wash my clothes and then I dry my clothes. So you know, that's clearly not happening here. And I decided that was important. I, I'm still wearing the clothes that I hiked with my uh, my t-shirt, my underwear. I decided that um, dry clothes stashed away in the dry bag is pretty valuable. So let's keep that stuff dry until tonight. Uh, because what if this goes on for hours and I get completely soaked and I'm out of warm, dry clothes? I'm not going to like that. I'm not going to like being stuck. I'm not going to like being stuck in my tent if that is what's going to happen. I'll, it'll be pretty cramped in there. I'm really glad that I can sit up at least. I wonder if I can sit with this chair in it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've got... Uh, I've got my umbrella on the open side here, protecting me from bouncing water and bouncing hail, because hey, hail just flies like popcorn. Uh, damn it, this storm is still going, although there is a lot of bright sky nearby. Maybe this is the grand crescendo. Hey, come on, my rain jacket is soaked. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I need to uh, get myself situated pretty soon because uh, the moisture is just getting more and more moist over here and it's becoming wet. And my backpack is getting wet. Some other minor things are getting wet. It's all pretty minor so far. Let's keep it that way. I want to have a good time today. Okay, let's put the camera away just in case. 
we should pull out the um, Well, I was looking for the rain experience. This is what I'm getting. That uh, steam is just climbing up the hills. It's so weird looking, but it's also getting thin fast. Uh, I'm on the very edge of the storm. There's There's blue skies and sunlight. I think sun was actually getting through and wreaking havoc. Uh, I'm beginning to stress a little bit. I'm beginning to get a little cold. Um, I'm separated from, uh, see, I, I'm moving camp. And uh, I set up my tent in the camp I'm staying at and I've got this, uh, this tarp over here. Uh, and I want to move, of course, but it's raining, so I can't move it. I want to get moved over there. I'm really tired. I just, um, when the downpour just started down, downpouring, I decided to uh, just set up my chair and sit there under the tarp as best I could. And I started getting a little too low to the ground. There was too much splashing going on. It's got just a little bit moist everywhere. And I'm beginning to get cold. But I don't have any clothes here. They're, at, they're in the tent. So I might just have to move to the tent and put a bunch of clothes on. I'm a little worried about my situation here because I've got a big heavy down jacket that'll keep me nice and warm. As long as it doesn't get wet. Um, I didn't totally th think that out. Um, I could put a uh, rain jacket over, that was the idea, a light rain jacket over the down jacket, keep it dry. But my little rain jacket is totally soaked. It's totally wet. It won't be usable till tomorrow. I've got a poncho, but a down jacket under a poncho, um, you know, that would work in a, you know, if it had to, but um, the arms of the down jacket won't be protected when I'm reaching out from under the poncho and grabbing stuff. Eventually the arms will get wet. Eventually they'll, it'll stop insulating there and eventually the whole thing will get wet so I'd like to keep the down jacket in the tent unless it's raining unless it's not raining um, I got a wool underliner that would help but um, if it continues to rain like this eventually I'm going to have to just crawl into my into my sleeping bag in my tent and hopefully everything there stays dry. <laughs> okay, let's put this away and see what I can get done while it's still raining. It should stop pretty soon, it looks like. Feeling better. Camp is coming together. The freaking sun is out. Look at that. It just uh, peeked over the mountains and it's going to set in like 20 minutes. There's a big, huge mountain over there. Uh, I got camp set up fairly well here. I got a reasonable tarp now uh, next to my tent and uh, I still have work to do to make this better but it's an improvement. All right. Good. What a weird day. It rained, it rained, it rained, it rained. The sun came out for a minute, set behind the mountain and sunset clouds and that's that. Otherwise it's dark. Uh, I just set food to steeping and I'm <laughs> trying to get my stuff together here. It is not raining. Doesn't look like it's going to in the near future. Um, it's still raining in my camp. All the <laughs> the, uh, the trees are uh, dropping a lot of water. Um, so I'm going to sit out here somewhere and eat. I just got to find out where. I'm really out of it. I'm proud of myself. I did really well today. I made a lot of smart decisions. 
um, not too many stupid ones, and here I am, mostly dry. I'm I'm moist. <laughs> uh, see, my pants are moist. The top layers aren't too bad. Uh, I'm wearing. I'm getting stuff as dry as I can by hanging it, and then I'm wearing it to to really get it dry. That's really the only way to dry things out here is to use your own body heat. I just uh, got the food steeping and the warmth <laughs> in dealing with that was just incredible. Um, I really need to set up my bedding before it gets dark and it's almost dark so let's get on that now. Finish with dinner. Um, it's still really wet out here, so I'm afraid I'm afraid to bring out my down jacket, but it's just it's only a quarter after eight and it's too early to go to bed. So I pulled out the down jacket. But I'm staying under the tarp where the down jacket will stay safe because it down jacket uh, has to perform. It has to keep me warm. And it feels really good right now. Ah oh. oh, well greetings. Um, end of the craziest night, craziest day I've ever had backpacking. Um, we've seen all the hail, all the craziness. But here I am, dry and uh, comfortable in my dry, clean bed clothes and sleeping bag is dry and the tent is dry, mostly. I'm really worried about condensation. Um, the... I put the tent up and it was still raining a bit and um, the whole tent was really wet on the outside and it seemed like a lot of condensation was kind of creeping through but um, it seems pretty good right now I think it'll be just fine for the night um, as long as we don't get another series of hailstorms <laughs> and I don't know even then it might do okay I'm, I'm not really sure uh, I'm tired. It's later than I thought. It's like quarter after 12. I got a second wind and had fun. Uh, oh, by the way, the sky is clear, so I was doing some stargazing. Um, and then uh, it took me forever to get uh, ready to go into the tent. I had so many little details to take care of, make sure everything was in its place and safe. And I've done that, and here I am. So I'm going to be going to sleep pretty darn soon here. I'm tired. Good night. Well, good morning, world. Damn, I'm about to run out of battery power. Oh, well. Ah. Uh, boy, I slept really good. I survived the, uh, the most incredibly crazy night, <laughs> uh, day, yesterday. Yesterday was the craziest back day of backpacking I've ever had. That hail was just insane. and Everything was soaking wet. and <laughs> um, But I kept my important stuff dry, and I kept me dry, and I slept dry in my tent, although there was a lot of moisture in the tent, a lot of... Uh, condensation um, but it didn't uh, it wasn't like raining in the tent uh, it's a good night <laughs> it's a good morning I'm sitting in the nice warm sun um, like getting uh, the remaining moist stuff drying out and I'm gonna take a little walk around camp after I drink some coffee here or maybe while I drink some coffee and uh, see what we got here, because I just, I couldn't really see much, because it was, um, everything was covered in hail, and the lake was just crazy. But everything's nice and calm now, everything's clear. Um, this isn't much of a campsite. Um, the, my little uh, guidebook said that if, uh, if you want um, nice uh, campsites with a bit of privacy. Go to the, the west coast here. Uh, but all of the shoreline is closed for restoration, and surely this is what this guy was talking about in this book 30 years ago. Um, 
back when you were allowed to camp over there. I'm sure, yeah, it was really pretty um, right on the shoreline there, but it, it, it's it's wiped out. It's uh, it's flat grass land, and it's been trampled. My, it's a nice day. Hey. Hard to believe what was happening here yesterday. All right, let's keep going. This is clearly what the guy in the guidebook was talking about um, when he was talking about a beautiful campsite here on the western shore. There's little signs everywhere saying, stay away, no camping here. But this is a classic, brilliant campsite. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just beautiful. And a nice rocky peninsula zone here. Oh, magnificent. Too bad. Too bad Lake of the Woods is only three miles from the boat launch. Five miles from the trailhead. Because it's just gotten, it's gotten mauled over the years. And I'm sure people used to camp here. Beautiful. Well, this is a nice morning walk here. I was really stiff. Um, you know, from all the work yesterday and then from all the motionlessness as I was hiding from the, the rain. <clears throat> I tried to uh, move around last night, but... Um, just didn't manage to push myself to get up and wander around too much. I, I did some stretches and stuff, and I really was stiff, but not much. Oh, imagine the wonderful campfires people once had here. What a great place. I'll move along to the next, uh, the next little cove here. Restoration site. They don't even want you walking here. God, I didn't realize that. Pretty lake. Pretty lake. But almost all of the great camping is off limits. Maybe all of it. I didn't really get a good look at the other places. Another classic campsite. Someone even dragged a log over there to to uh, get to that island. That's cute. And a wonderful fire pit area. Kitchen area right here. Oh, this is magnificent. Big big boulder. Just, just beautiful. To my shock and amazement, I'm just on the other side of that big rock, right over there, that big rock uh, from that uh, campsite I just pointed out. And this is a designated campsite here. And we're supposed to be within 30 feet of the post, but the post is not even 100 feet from the water. That's really strange. So if you put your tent 30 feet from the post towards the water, you're only going to be 50 feet. And I don't know what they're thinking here, but this is the nicest campsite on... on well, I, don't, I haven't seen the third one. There are three here. Uh, maybe there's one more over there, too. But this was way nicer than, than my designated camp area. Um, however, it's wet. <laughs> uh, you can see... Maybe you can't see. I can see that there was a river flowing through here, right, right through those trees, right down here, right over here, and a lake formed here yesterday. It was really wet, and this camp zone is a that uh, tent zone is a low spot, and this one is better, but it's still pretty darn wet. See, the good thing about my tent spot up there is that it's. The um, the ground is is half pine cones and, and stuff, and it's the highest point in the area. 
Um, there are still thunderstorms predicted for today. So I'm going to stay with what worked yesterday. I'm on this little trail heading back towards my camp now. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I'm back here under my rain shelter again. Uh, not that it's raining. It's a beautiful day with just a few little puff clouds. Um, it's a nice um, partial sun zone, and it's comfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm getting to like my camp a little better. Um, as I was walking around doing my poop walk this morning, I noticed that this is the high point of the local high point of this area. No water is going to be flowing onto my tent, except for, you know, what comes crashing down. You, you should have seen it um, during uh, one of those hail storms. It, it, hail comes splatting down uh, at, at a point where the hail wasn't um, wasn't really uh, solid. It was kind of, it was a little slushy. It was falling down and just uh, smashing little uh, slush balls all over my tent. I, I couldn't, in, in, in just a minute or so, it was covered in a half an inch of ice or slush. Uh, it was a remarkable storm to watch. <laughs> anyway, um, my plan in coming here, besides um, coming prepared for a thunderstorm and experiencing a thunderstorm, <clears throat> the plan was to uh, come here to Lake of the Woods and then uh, go to American Lake or the little nameless lake right below it or below that is Channel Lake. Um, I did a day hike uh, through there a couple years ago with Pujita and there were lots of beautiful campsites there so I, I was kind of wanting to do that. Um, but I have invested so much effort in this camp here and it's still an 80% chance of thunder showers today just like yesterday. It could be that the you know this system just blew its wad yesterday because that was a ton of rain and ice and stuff, and it really is pleasant out there today. I don't see anything remotely threatening. It's, it's early, of course, um, but I'm just sitting here waiting for my uh, oatmeal to steep, and I'm going to have a mellow, relaxing day here today, and I'm going to feel perfectly good about that. Um, I might hike around a little bit. I might uh, hike up to. Lake Aloha or something. It's just a mile away or so. Um, I might do something like that. I've already um, hiked around this little peninsula here, or this big peninsula. But I, I have expended so much energy yesterday and a lot of stress at the uh, at the, um, the later part of the setting up of camp. <clears throat> um, I managed to do all this hiking and get all the way here without getting wet. But man, I had a hell of a time setting up the, the tarp and creating a, uh, a rainless spot for myself and then working from there. I'd never done that before. I'd never, you know, been through a storm like this before. Never set up camp uh, in a big storm either. So this is a lot of learning experience here. And frankly, um, most of my... Um, daydreaming about it, uh, um, visualizing, um, helped, worked. Um, I visualized problems and then solutions, and it all pretty much worked. Um, there wasn't any, really any weaknesses. Uh, not really. Um, so, I'm proud of what I did yesterday. That was, that was quite a feat. Um, I saw a lot of miserable people on that trail. <clears throat> uh, one woman walked by and was going downhill and just said in, in that, this tone of deep despair, man, this sucks. And she really meant it. Um, I think she was one of those people that didn't have any rain gear at all and was just being wet and cold. I saw, you see a lot of people... Uh, um, with a poncho or a rain gear on, moving on, they were doing fine. But there was a lot of people also um, with no gear, a lot of day hikers, that just uh, um, were hugged their arms to their chest. Uh, that seemed to be a universal sign of, I'm wet and cold. <laughs> um, and boy, did I get a lot of envious looks to, uh, toward my umbrella and my happy demeanor as I was bounding down the trail. Because I was enjoying it. I mean, I love watching the rainfall. 
as long as I'm not getting soaked. <laughs> I, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's a great experience. And man, did I see it yesterday, watching the lake boiling like I'd, I'd never seen. I'd, I'd never seen a storm like that. I, I've, been, I've seen a couple of really good um, afternoon thunder showers up here in the mountains, but none that lasted for. I mean, they, they, they usually um, just clouds build up. It starts raining a little bit, and then it rains a lot, and then there's this loud boom, and then there's this hail that drops like crazy for five minutes, maybe 20 minutes in a big one, and then it reverses, and then it's clear by um, evening. That's how it often goes, the, after, the, the typical afternoon thunder shower. But yesterday, it started ringing, I don't know, around 1 o'clock, something like that. And there were 8 to 12 crescendos of hail just uh, and, and thunder and lightning throughout the, the rain. It never really stopped raining once it started, and the hail just came and went. But I, I'd never seen it like that, just... Um, uh, hailing like crazy and then pausing and then doing it again and then doing it again and then doing it again. <laughs> wow. There was a lot of water that fell here and I just can't believe how much water was flowing through here yesterday. Um, there were these little rivers all over this terrain here. Um, can't see much of it. I mean, it's a big flat area here. And there was just these rivers all over the place. Some were eight inches wide, some were six feet wide. They were all three inches deep. It was weird. It was crazy. Um, I suppose a lot of you have, growing up in thunderstorm country are used to that kind of thing. I, big thunderstorms happen once every five years where I live, uh, if that. And they're not that big. Uh, big hail. Big hail? Once every eight to ten years. In fact, uh, God, I can... Um, I can count the, the, the hailstorms on one hand, I think, uh, in my life since I was 10 years old in Sacramento. Anyway, uh, that's enough babbling. My tea and my um, uh, breakfast should be ready about now, so fun enough. Great day here, and a really exciting, eventful trip. I, I'm, man, I'm loving it. Okay, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's some awesome food hanging. branches way high off the ground. I just got it tied off for now, for the daytime. I'll do it for real for later, because there are bears around here, I'm sure of it. Oh, and I heard uh, a pack of coyotes last night. I was so wiped out from the day <laughs> that I, I just hung my food from uh, the central line of my shelter here, uh, six feet off the ground. Good enough for anything but a bear. I've got my backpack sitting out in the sun here because there are clouds forming. Some more impressive than others. Um, this is typical behavior of a afternoon thunder shower. A, a typical afternoon thunder shower, not the monster that I saw last night. But I was wondering yesterday as I was looking across this flat space here that was completely inundated with water, what do the underground creatures do? Or the ground dwelling insects? What do the ants do? I was wondering about that. And I'm not sure what they do, were doing then, but they're in panic mode here. It looks like they are moving a nest. I mean, there's all these little white things that they're carrying. They are very, very busy all over this rock, which is right next to or under the rock that I got my backpack on. But they seem to be originating from under this rock and carrying stuff away. Very peculiar. So I guess the ants had a really bad day yesterday, and they're they're getting to work now that things are drying out. There's an awful lot of this going on. Building material. I'm seeing a lot. See, there's a whole bunch of these guys carrying pine needles. 
another one. So they're going to the the great uh, pine needle reserve over here. I guess this is where they go for their pine needles. <laughs> That's really peculiar. They are busy little critters. But man, that transfer of the eggs is intense. There's a there's a procession going on there. Anyway, no one cares about the ants. Back to work. Or relaxation, whatever it was I was doing. The sky is getting a little grayer. Sure looks like a thunderstorm kind of day. But all I can say now is bring it on. I am so ready. Um, I just brought my backpack out here to really, really, really dry out. It's really, really dry. And I've been spending my, oops, spending my time uh, staying busy, shoring things up. My little camp. I'm very uh, envious uh, walking by that other camp that I pointed out earlier. It's beautiful over there. It's much prettier than this. But it's lying low, and I'm at the very, very high point here. My tent literally is uh, right next to, <laughs> it looks like uh, two feet to the left is the very highest point for quite a ways around here. Um, I'm ready. Bring it on. I've got a camp ready for a storm. It's a lot different than setting up a camp in the middle of a storm. Everything I own is dry, and all my dry stuff is safely stowed. Well, except for my backpack here. I'm, I'm just gonna throw that into my tent, I think, when the time comes. Bring it on. Oh, damn, don't bring it on yet. Um, I need to get water. <laughs> oh, and here I am sitting comfortably, and I was about to start doing some munching. I, it can't rain much soon, um, but we did hear the first, uh, we, me, I heard the first uh, uh, boom a little while ago, and it was pretty loud, so it wasn't that far away. Anyway, this could be really exciting. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, I love the rain when I'm dry and protected from it, and being out here in the middle of a thunderstorm is pretty much the ultimate for me. Very exciting. So, and I've never had this kind of tarp setup thing um, for an afternoon thunder shower in the past. Well, I'm down at the lake to get some water. A few raindrops falling. There's a heavy gray cloud up here above, but it may just stay there and be joined by its friends and rain for the rest of the day. You never know. So I'm getting ready. Got my water heading back to camp. It's hard to imagine that this is a place. This is the place, right? Yes, that I, uh, this is the place that I huddled for an hour or so and the pouring rain and hail under my tarp that was not even close to uh, set up optimally. optimally. I just had enough room to huddle under and uh, stay under, stay out of the extreme rain. A um, few more thunder booms going on. There's been a few raindrops. Put my rain jacket on just in case it all opened up when I went down to the water. It's a bit of a hike back to camp. But that's okay, I don't like wandering around here. Now I've seen all of the uh, the uh, designated camping areas on this peninsula here. And this is the one that I'm staying at is clearly the worst of the three. But, boom. But it's also the highest of the three. Uh, the tent spots at the other locations are just barely, um, just a little more solid than mud just a little and another good storm 
would put two or three inches of water in there in no time flat. Okay, I got to free my other hand. It looks like it's just about upon me. That part of the sky over there is the clear part. Um, yesterday and this morning and last night. Right now, there is a bunch of gray clouds right overhead. Well, it's pretty uh, pretty stormy now. It's uh, rumbling has been can be heard almost constantly. You can still hear it rumbling around out there. None of the gigantic explosions yet, like um, like yesterday. Those are frightening. <laughs> um, it's, it was odd the the sun was shining on me while it was raining for. 15 minutes at least. Peculiar. Um, but uh, once the sun went away, it got considerably cooler. So I, I uh, put on an under layer, top and bottom. Feeling comfy, and I'm just sitting here enjoying the pretty storm. So I'll check in later. <clears throat> well, I'm all bundled up. I've, uh, I've got all my layers on. Yeah, all my layers except for the rain skirt and the rain jacket. Jeez. Because the wind's picked up here and uh, dark and cloudy and get, get, get really chilly just sitting here like like I am doing. Did some wandering around. The, uh, the rain stopped uh, at least an hour ago. Um, and it's been... hope it's not too windy there. And it's been pretty calm. Uh, a few raindrops here and there, no thunder recently. I uh, managed to spot a, um, a single human over at the, the really nice campsite and uh, hightailed myself right on over there <laughs> and borrowed some toothpaste because backpacking without toothpaste is pretty darn disgusting. I, my teeth were not feeling good right now and I couldn't imagine what it would, they'd be feeling like tomorrow when I hike out. Yeesh. Way off at the end of the peninsula now. It's very pretty out here. That's thunder, of course, in the background. The Crystal Range. It is beautiful, isn't it? This, uh, straight ahead is uh, the far western arm of the Lake of the Woods. It's full of little islands and a big peninsula. I can't tell which is which. Pretty spot. All the shoreline around here is uh, closed for restoration. It's very pretty. Um, you know, people camped right on the shoreline and destroyed the shoreline. Uh, there's your full 360. Coyotes are screaming. I must really freak out dogs that are out here with their masters. They're in unfamiliar territory anyway. Glad I captured that. I missed it yesterday. At least I got a little bit. Looking 
pretty. Well, I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's uh, around 5.30 or so, and uh, the big storm never really materialized. Big shame. Um, it's, I don't know, it's weird weather out here. It could happen any time. I could wake up in the middle of the night with a gigantic explosion. I've heard of that happening to people. Um, but uh, right now, it's just uh, kind of breezy and cool. It's, it's all, I think it's cooler than it was last night. I can, I can still hear uh, distant uh, thunder activity, but uh, not much close. And the uh, cloud cover nearby, at least, is looking thinner and thinner and less threatening. So, all this preparation for just a little drizzle. Oh well. He is tearing that thing apart. Winter is coming. They're closer. They're pretty close. That away. Pretty interesting night to hear. Got some nice light clouds. Looking pretty sunsetty. And of course, I'm right in the middle of dinner. I really need to take a few minutes off here. Ah, oh, sigh. I didn't get my big hailstorm, but I had to relocate closer to the water to get some good views of this. It's just insane. Oh, my food's still warm.
probably can't see me, but that's okay. Well, that was frustrating. I uh, had my, my made this perfect uh, mountain house uh, stroganoff. I got it just the right amount of liquid. It was thick and creamy, but everything was cooked, and it was just the right amount. I bought three single servings and made two serving two <laughs> bags out of the three servings. One and a half servings is perfect for me. And I drag myself to a nearby rock and start eating, and I see the colors over Pyramid Peak are just too beautiful. So I kind of walk down uh, with the camera and leave my food behind to take a snapshot or two. And the farther I get, the more I realize that this is an epic <laughs> sunset. So I go back and get get the chair, get my food, get everything. I didn't forget it. Okay, <laughs> thought I forgot my water back there. Uh, and move down there to to capture the the incredible sunset. I'm taking stills. I took a couple of videos with a bunch of different settings, and then I just let the uh, video run as the color was getting deeper and deeper. And of course, it starts trickling rain ever so slightly, and then a little bit more than ever so slightly. And here, you know, I've been in rain paranoia mode for the for the last two days. I can't let my down jacket get wet. I had to move. I had to leave. <laughs> and it was funny. I went out onto the the rocks there, and I was like, "Okay, screw you. Whether you're not gonna rain, I'm gonna take my down jacket and just go out there." And and of course, it rained a little bit, enough to make me move. I get back here. It stops raining. Ah. Oh. But I did finish my food, and it was good, and it was not cold. <laughs> Got my little lanterns going tonight. Didn't bother doing it last night. For obvious reasons. But it's just weight to carry now. So I'm here in my little chateau. Lucy light is trying to illuminate me. That's good enough. You don't need more light than that. I I, I like a, I like my tarp setup even when it's not raining. I mean it's just it's it's the best when when it's raining. Uh, it is so nice to have a place to go to that's not your tent where you can act, where you can actually stand up and wander around and stuff. And you know you know, deal with your pack and whip out your stove and do all that stuff that you may not want to do in your tent. But I find, um, at night at least, it, uh, it, it, uh, it, it's, another, it's another security blanket. It feels like an indoors. You know, it, uh, when I step out from under the uh, illuminated um, uh, tarp. It feels like I'm going outside. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. And I come back and it feels like I'm going inside. Oh, it's the end of day two here. And another amazing day. I was, I was expecting more. I was expecting to have an exciting uh, thunderstorm experience day. And I ran around really getting ready for it. And it just never happened. But the consolation prize was that amazing sunset. Just stunning. Beyond belief. Um, pyramid peak in the, in the background, lake in the foreground. Uh, reflections of the colors in, from the sky and the lake. Oh, it's just wonderful. Um, so, yeah, so I mostly I just laced around today. Um, I puttered around, checked out all the campsites. Um, the campsites are all full now. Uh, two more solo campers are here. One guy showed up late, um, surprisingly late. Um, uh, no real news here. Um, the uh, sky looks pretty darn clear. I've got the um, um, one oh, one panel open on my on my tent uh, to get some more ventilation. It's so much drier in here last night. <laughs> I mean, tonight than last night. Um, I mean, the, the air was just 100% humid last night. Everything was so dank. It's a lot nicer tonight. 
Might get a storm in the middle of the night, I don't know. I'll just get a little wet and close my panel from the inside, and that'll be that. So, signing off from day two, night two. Amazing trip so far. Be hiking out here tomorrow, but I'm not in any hurry. Very well. <clears throat> well, good morning, campers. I feel great. This is the fourth time in a row, fourth backpacking night in a row that I've gotten a good night's sleep. Uh, that hasn't happened in decades. Um, I I got into the tent at about 11:30, and I came out of the tent at 9:40. And you know, I I don't sleep solidly when I'm backpacking here. I, I it, on a good night like last night, I'll sleep for two or three hours and then wake up and and sleep for another two or three hours. If the two or three hours is deep sleep, then I know I'm good. Um, and it was deep sleep every time I woke up from the little partial sleep. I felt good, you know, like a like stretch felt good. Not, oh, I'm so exhausted, oh, I got, I got to get more sleep, you know. <laughs> That's the way I had been recently. Oh my God, so I probably got no less than eight hours of sound sleep, maybe nine. And I feel great. <laughs> and I, I woke up and it was bright and sunny and I and I just pulled my clothes bag out onto a, a nice piece of granite and just took all my clothes off because it's warm in the sun. <laughs> but um, And just re redressed myself and packed my clothes in my clothes bag and wandered back to my little camp tent here. Haven't even started coffee yet. I've just been sitting here feeling contented <laughs> and uh, assessing the weather, which has again changed. Um, uh, it's breezy and cool this morning. Well, it's, you know, it's warm in the sun, but there are there are clouds in the air, and they are moving very quickly up high. Again, it's um, it's late afternoon thunderstorm kind of weather. But I am not going to hurry to get out of here. It's, I'm just having too good of a time. And uh, moving slowly, packing slowly, feels like the way to go today. So that's what I'm going to do and enjoy every minute of it. I, I've hardly done anything while I've been here except for prepare for rain, so I thought I would at least investigate um, hiking um, this part of the shore of the lake. I've, I've been wondering about that, because there's good stuff over in this direction, and this would be a great shortcut, but it just looks too rocky. I had to use my hands to get this far, um, climbing up a little bit safe, but not something you can do free-handed. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better anytime soon. And this topography um, was, is consistent for oh, it, it, more than a quarter mile on the map. It doesn't mean it's all like this exactly, but I mean, there's a good chance that, it, that it is. I need to uh, update my assessment of the uh, doability of hiking around the, uh, the shore here. I was wrong about the distance. Um, that there is the end of the, the lake, the end of that long arm. All you gotta do is get there. <laughs> um, so, I, so I pulled out the GPS app to see uh, how close I actually was to, to that end. I thought there might have been more around the bend there, but there is no bend. So I continued hiking, even though I'm wearing a down jacket, which is just ridiculous. Now the sun's out. I'm going to bake. <laughs> um, but I was able to get this far um, without, without uh, well, I, I barely had to use my hands. And it's, it's bouldering. Some people would find that treacherous. It's not too bad for me. Um, but I end up at this spot here where there, there's just no more going. <laughs> And it's worse up here. Uh, however, right here, I don't know what's on the other side of these boulders, but somebody put a bunch of rocks here. I don't think those got there naturally. And uh, the, this is a high water year. Um, no doubt those rocks were clearly exposed last year. And they are no more than... 18 inches deep, no 
most of it's no more than 12 inches deep. If you're using poles, you can get through. You can get, uh, you can get through it uh, just you know getting wet without a problem. Um, uh, but those rocks would probably be exposed this time of year, September, or probably uh, throughout the um, the uh, the drought. They were probably exposed during the summertime. Okay, that's my big exploration of the day. Exploring the long arm of Lake of the Woods. And I really like that peninsula. I'd like to go check that out. It, it, it runs a long way out there. There's another channel like this on the other side of it. Some other day. I had plenty of adventure on this trip. And now I've got to do this. Maybe it's an easier way than I came. But not much. Nope. It's bouldering one way or another. Ugh. Okay, let's put the camera away. I don't want to break it. Okay, here's another update on that uh, that trail going to the west. Uh, Bernard just walked through uh, with a serious looking day pack. And I mentioned I just tried to go through over there and he says, oh yeah, there's just this one short section of uh, water you have to go through and, and uh, then the rest is okay. So that's a, that's a known thing there. Um, and, if, and it's probably worth getting a little, getting your feet wet to avoid, because uh, the other way to get to American Lake or Channel Lake would be at least another mile. It's only about a mile from here. Um, the uh, imminence of rain has uh, fallen a little bit, and uh, and it's now on the rise again. You can't, uh, you really can't know the way these clouds are moving. Uh, literally, just to, when I uh, pulled out the camera, um, it looked like there was no possibility of rain coming anytime soon. And, and since then, this cloud just kind of appeared. And, looking dark um, but good news is I got my tent all broken down and uh, I got uh, four liters of water here that I'm certainly gonna not gonna need but in theory I could probably handle a, a good sized storm here and just uh, pack under my um, tarp I, I tried to lower it but uh, I like being able to stand up in there well I've been wanting to uh move at a leisurely pace today because I'm just not in a hurry to get back to town. However, I kind of took it to an extreme. It is almost three o'clock <laughs> and I'm not quite done packing. I've, I've got just the last uh, few things to do. I'm sitting on my chair. I'm going to do the chair next, so that means, <laughs> that means I'm almost done. But uh, I've kind of been just toting along, just kind of tinkering here and there. I hadn't even sat down for an hour and a half or so. So I decided to do it right now and say farewell. Uh, from this most exciting trip. These dark clouds have been um, coming and going all day. I think I felt like one or two drops of rain, but so far it hasn't, it hasn't rained. It's fascinating. It's quite breezy. It's quite cool. I am um, uh, put. I had to put a lot of thought into what I am going to wear on the trail and what I, I need to have um, readily accessible um, in case I get colder or rainier or something like that. So I've pack is arranged very differently than, than usual and I still don't know what's going to happen you know I might I might walk for 10 feet and then have to take off layers and then get cold and have put put on layers it might be a slow hike so I'm a little nervous here I I'm not a I don't hike at dark um, I don't do that but if I had to this would be an easy place to do it because I know I know my way around here all right uh, enough babbling. Uh, well uh, one little update I saw three guys um, uh, heading on the cross-country route with backpacks on an hour or two ago. Uh, so people do do that route. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Farewell, almost, maybe, from Lake of the Woods. Very exciting trip here. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there'll be more updates along the way. <sighs> well, this looks like a good overview uh, of the lake itself. Straight ahead there, 
there's a southern tail. There's a tail that, uh, it's a kind of big roundish lake, but there's a tail going to the south and a tail over there towards the west. It's not evident. That's where I camped. You can't tell, but there is, um, that's a peninsula there. I was inland a little bit. So it's after three o'clock, it's windy, it's cold, great hiking weather, um, but man, am I late. Uh, I might well get back to my car at dark, which is not something that thrills me, but I had a great time here and I you know, didn't want to push myself any more than I did. Ah, okay, well, I gotta start hiking uphill. Maybe I'll get something to snack upon first. I know I've been saying it for two days now, but looks like the rain is coming. All of this stuff is coming at me. It's looking dark. So, gotta keep moving. I gotta pick up my poles that always fall down when I stop. Uh, doing pretty well. I'm uh, pretty pleased with my uh, my choice of attire. I started climbing. I started getting a little hot, of course. I rolled up my sleeves, unbuttoned my shirt, and I'm I'm okay now that the sun is gone and the breeze is blowing again. So I think I'm just about got it nailed. Uh, met uh, two really nice couples. Um, one couple, both uh, 60s. One was at uh, the, uh, better stop climbing if I'm gonna talk. One was at the uh, Grand Central Station campsite there. Wonderful folks, they were really sweet. And I met another couple uh, on the trail. They were headed, hopefully to Ropai, if they think they can make it that far. Um, also a lovely couple. Uh, I, I really like the people that I've uh, I've uh, met here. All old timers. Um, I love my neighbors last night. I had the the uh, peninsula there all to myself uh, on the hellacious storm night. The next day, uh, Bernard came in, camped at one of the sites. Another guy whose name I never got uh, came in late after dark and uh, took the, uh, the last designated site. And so it was just three solo hikers um, in those three designated spots, all behaving and uh, adhering to the rules and camping in the proper places and being nice folks. Bernard uh, gave me some toothpaste, which I forgot. Jeez. Uh, um, and uh, I don't know, it's just good, good folk here. And I love it that they're all old timers. Uh, all three of us at the peninsula, they are all know the area well, been here several times, and, uh, and behaved. What a great trip. It's not over yet, and I gotta, uh, I gotta make time. Um, I stopped and chatted for a considerable time with those folks. Uh, close to the top, actually. I'm feeling pretty good, so I got a long downhill to do after I get to the top of this hill. Yay. All right, let's go. Glory be. I made it to the junction. Pretty decent time. But there are big clouds everywhere. But there is blue sky everywhere too. Um, it's about four o'clock. That means if I'm gonna get down to, uh, if I'm gonna get back to the car by, seven o'clock. That means I got three hours. That's not bad. Um, five miles is probably going to take that long. Uh, all right, well, let's go. Cruise along. I love this section here. It's so pretty. And the ground is soft. But it doesn't last for long. I'll be on the, uh, the main trail real soon. Rain skirt for this section. Yes, when I came in, a godsend. It was all soaking wet, of course. 
I would have gotten all over my legs, but did not. Still pleased with my uh, choice of a tire. I'm uh, going downhill, not working so hard now. Not generating so much heat. Not getting too hot. That could change real quick. But so far, so good. Okay, I know the trail is just up ahead, so put this thing away because I got to make time. I'm not going to be doing much video on the way back. If you want to see what it looks like, check out uh, my um, Desolation Lake video or even better, Pyramid Lake video. Want to see wildflowers? Forget it. The hay will kill them all. There, is, there are very few intact flowers around here. All right, heading down. I'm uh, telling myself to pick up the pace on the flat, easy sections. So, won't be doing much of this. Pace is good, everything is good. Uh, hiking with uh, long sleeve wool. Uh, very lightweight undergarment is a first for me today and it's very nice i'm uh the, the the temperature just rises and falls all the time the sun comes out the winds uh calm and it gets pretty darn warm the winds kick up the sun goes away it gets pretty darn cold oh and you're you're kicking you're uh, building up some sweat uh hiking in the sun especially uphill like i was doing before um with the Usually, uh, if I get a little cold hiking, I'll just throw this my white nylon shirt on, and you know that's kind of like a windbreaker and a ineffective layer all at once. But uh, it doesn't handle it very well when you go back and forth like that. Um, when the the winds kick up, you get cold. You simply get cold. Uh, wearing this wool, I get a little too warm, but and I sweat a bit. And then the winds kick up, and uh, I don't get cold. So I like the equilibrium I'm, I'm at right now. Oh, well, that was the uh, Triangle Lake Junction there. So it's okay being a little warm. I'm not sweating up a storm. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. And uh, man, it looked like rain was imminent just 15 minutes ago. These clouds are moving fast, but they don't look like they're holding any rain. Now, okay, nice easy section here. Let's put the camera away and kick ass. Looks like an osprey. myself. I just uh, chatted with a couple more PCT hikers. Didn't catch their name. They're, they're moving. <laughs> That's the uh, fourth, third and fourth PCT hikers I've seen on trail on this trip. Um, uh, you may recall I was a little stressed when I took off because I was afraid I was going to get rained on and I was afraid I'd have to stop all the time and I was afraid I'd be really slow hiking down the hill. None of that stuff has happened. <laughs> Um, I am stopping and talking with people a lot, and that's slowing me down. But I've neglected to take in uh, to consideration the fact that I got two great nights sleep on this hike, and uh, I haven't done that since I started hiking regularly again uh, since 2012. I feel great. I'm tearing down this hill, maybe as fast as I used to when I was a youngster. Well, not that fast, but plenty fast. I, I had been disappointed in the last few years that I have not been able to reach three miles an hour in any conditions. I'm sure I'm doing that today. I'm, I'm tearing down the hill, although I'm stopping a lot. Uh, meeting some great people down here. Um, it has not rained. I think I felt a couple of water drops. There's a cloud just a thousand feet above me right now, but doing okay. I haven't had to stop to, um, to change my uh, attire. And I'm shocked with that. I was sure that I would st be stopping at least once, maybe twice. 
Um, I'm taking my beanie on and off. I opened my shirt uh, earlier when I was climbing the hill. And taking the beanie on and off is really all I need right now. Um, last time I stopped to chat with this nice couple, I was a little cold when I started up again. But now I'm feeling fine and there's still no sun. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling like uh, hiking down this trail is building me up instead of breaking me down, which <laughs> often is the case when I'm just not up for it. I'm, I'm up for it. But uh, I'm still uh, way behind my usual schedule. I'm going to get home way later than I want to, so I do want to pick it up. Oh, and while, I'm, while I got the camera running, um, this might be a trail marker. Well, it is a trail marker. And there is, it's hard to see, but there is a trail going up here. Up to the base of that tree and around. I, um, taken the boat taxi once. I noticed a flag way up on the hillside up here somewhere. I don't know, somewhere. And, um, and asked the boat driver about it. This is a young girl and she was really fun. She told us all about working for the uh, Echo Chalet and all this. And apparently there is some... Uh, ritual, some hazing or something, where you got to climb up to this flagpole up there and and host a flag or something like that. A lot of drinking is involved. <laughs> uh, a lot of partying involves. A uh, uh, period with uh, the Echo Chalet work staff. Um, but this might be a marker to the trail up there because it looks like, well, it looks like the t the top of the ridge right there. Just Echo Lakes, but it's just gorgeous. <sighs> yes, I'm a little winded, but I'm just I'm doing this uphill part. It's one reason I do not like this trail that goes around Echo Lakes. You just think a trail that goes around big huge lakes would just be nice and flat, but that is not the case. This trail goes up and down. <sighs> and I'm getting hot again. <laughs> Come on, I need more downhill to cool off. Ran into another pair of of uh, Pacific Crest Pacific Crest trail hikers. I look down and there's this young woman and young man coming at me at four miles an hour. They're just tearing, tearing up pace. And I said, "You gotta be PCT hikers. Nobody around here hikes at that speed at this hour." Sure enough, they were. Oh, sunlight. Uh-oh, that'll make me really hot. Ain't gonna happen. This clouds have been there all day. Still below the ridge line. Well, I'm basically done. Uh, the uh, trailhead is just down that way. But I saw this. And I've never come over here before. So I thought I'd come over and see what this looks like. Jeez. Isn't that something? I had no idea that there was such a huge view so close to Echo Lakes. There's the treacherous Highway 50 down there. Featured on many, many, many car commercials. Um... Pretty nice. Wow. All right. I was just so pleased with myself that uh, I'm so strong. Ugh. Dropping my poles again. So strong. Uh, didn't have a moment of weariness on the way down. Man, I've got to get good night's sleep backpacking more often. That changes everything. Talking to some nice folks on the way down. More PCT hikers. A nice fellow that was just out for a stroll. And this was a fantastic exit hike. Um, I 
felt pretty good, although I got a little hot and cold sometimes, but I didn't have to to uh, pull out gear out of my pack. Not once. I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, wool underlining. That's good stuff. Okay, we might as well just do the rest of the way here. I want to get the view from the dam. Boy, did it get blustery. The, much of the trail is sheltered pretty well, so I didn't get that much wind. There are uh, white caps out on the water, though. It's windy. You're not going to hear anything I'm going to say, so I'm not going to talk anymore. where I just came from. Sitting in my car in the parking lot at Echolix. If you lived here, you'd be home. God, am I jealous. <laughs> I would love that. But I don't live here. i got to drive for two hours to get home. Oh, sorry. What a hike. My God, I... Uh, met great people all the way down. There was this couple that just, <laughs> they still haven't left. They've had their car warming up for uh, at least five minutes now. Uh, we hops, uh, what's the word? Leapfrogged each other um, for the last uh, three miles or so. Saw uh, another couple uh, PCT hikers going in. I just saw a bunch of great people. It was really fun. And, uh, and I did great. Uh, Strong man, I'm really strong. I forgot to check the time when I got back, but it was uh, ahead of schedule, so that's good enough. Um, it's not dark, it's uh, it's right about sunset. I don't know, there's a bunch of clouds over there. Um, it's close to sunset at least. Whew, epic trip, really. Um, uh, there were so many challenges that I uh, needed to address, and I conquered them all. I I beat the hell out of this, this trip here. Excuse me. And I can't wait to see the footage I got. I took some lovely pictures. I saw some great critters. Ah, what a trip. What a trip. 
and I was strong on the way down. I was really quite strong. I was impressing myself. Anyway, um, I gotta get going, so farewell. Uh, I'm sure I'll be up again before the end of the season because I'm just dying to get back up here again, but uh, it's supposed to be getting pretty cold in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's only September. I should go in October again, too. Anyway, farewell, Echo Lakes. Real nice in there. Bye.